So, good morning and welcome back to NPTEL lecture series on classics in total synthesis. So, yesterday we talked about uh, total synthesis of epothelon by Nicholas group. Uh, in fact, uh, we discussed two syntheses of uh, Nicholas group. So, today we will discuss two more total synthesis of epothelon A, one by Schinzer's group, the other by Danishevsky's group. So, Schinzer's group, uh, what they wanted to do was again they wanted to use uh, the aldol reaction, the highly serious selective aldol reaction as the key reaction, and then also the ring closing metathesis as the key reaction to get the double bond followed by epoxidation. So, if you look at uh, the retrosynthesis on the right hand side, the aldol, the cleavage of aldol followed by you know the ring closing metathesis, you can see the left hand side you have this uh, homoallylic alcohol, the right hand side the aldehyde. This is almost similar to what Professor Nicolo has done and the southern hemisphere is this ethyl ketone. In the case of Nicolo's group, this used to be carboxylic acid. Here, the 1,3-diol is protected as a ketone. Okay. Now, these three fragments were synthesized uh, using the standard asymmetric route. Now, let us see one by one how his group synthesized all the three fragments. Okay. First, he carried out um, a Reformatsky reaction on this ester with 3 pentanone. So, the alpha bromo ester upon Reformatsky reaction with 3 pentanone, you get this beta hydroxy ester. Okay. This beta hydroxy ester then upon treatment with uh, acid, it underwent dehydration to give beta gamma unsaturated ester. Okay. This beta gamma unsaturated ester was reduced to get the corresponding alcohol, then it was oxidized under Swan condition to get the aldehyde. Now, this aldehyde is ready for asymmetric aldol reaction. For asymmetric aldol, he used a very interesting chiral auxiliary. So, what he used was this ester, this ester is obtained from mandelic acid. If you see, so this is mandelic acid. Okay. The mandelic acid ester upon treatment with excess phenyl grignard, you will get the corresponding tertiary alcohol and the secondary alcohol was acetylated. Now, this upon treatment with LDA, you generate anion here and that enolate attacks this aldehyde, you introduce a chiral center here now. Okay. So, once that is served, you have to remove the ester. So, reductive removal of the ester gives your chiral auxiliary as well as the 1,3 diol. The 1,3 diol, if you rotate it by 180 degree, okay, if you rotate this by 180 degree, followed by protection of this 1,3 diol with acetone, you get this ketone. Okay. Then you need ethyl ketone here, you need ethyl ketone. So, that is easily done by cleavage of this double bond to have the fragment A. So, the fragment A was easily synthesized in few steps using Reformatsky reaction and asymmetric aldol reaction with a chiral auxiliary derived from mandelic acid. Then the fragment B was synthesized using Evans chiral auxiliary. First, this was deprotonated and quenched with heptinoyl chloride. Okay. Then deprotonation followed by quenching with methyl iodide. You could introduce the chiral center here with a methyl group. And then removal of the chiral auxiliary with LAH gave the primary alcohol and oxidation with TPOP that is tetra N propyl ammonium perruthenate with co-oxidant N methyl marcoline oxide gave the fragment B which is aldehyde. Okay. So, now aldehyde is ready and then that side ethyl ketone is ready. 
So now the fragment C, so which is made from 1,3 propane diol. So you take 1,3 propane diol and protect one of the alcohols as TBS ether and then oxidize the other primary alcohol to aldehyde. This upon Grignard reaction, this upon treatment with Grignard reagent derived from 2 bromopropene gives this allylic alcohol. As you know, when you have allylic alcohol, one can think about Sharp plus asymmetric epoxidation. But when you have a racemic allylic alcohol, one can think about Sharp plus kinetic resolution. So, Sharp plus kinetic resolution, you could get exclusively this alcohol. Of course, the yield will be less than 50 percent. That alcohol was protected as TBS ether and followed by ozonolysis, you get the ketone. Now, the thiosol unit should be attached to this ketone. So, that was done using stabilized Wittig reaction. Now, this phosphonate ester derived from the corresponding bromide was treated with butyl lithium as well as quenched with this ketone to get this double bond. Okay. So, now you need to remove the TBS group selectively, oxidize and then convert into double bond for the ring closing metathesis. Okay, so, selectively the primary TBS was removed, Desmartin periurane oxidation gave the aldehyde, that aldehyde upon Wittig reaction gave the double bond. Okay. So, then you do not need the protecting group here, because that is that alcohol is required for the esterification. So, removal of the TBS gave fragment C. So, you could make fragment A, fragment B, fragment C. Now, let us see how he combined all the three fragments and then completed the total synthesis of epothelia. So, first he started with the ketone that is the ethyl ketone, generate anion and then quench with this aldehyde. Okay. So, 1.1 equivalent of LDA generates the enolate, quench with aldehyde. So, you get the aldol product, remove the astronide. So, you get now the triol. Okay. Take the triol and then treat with TBS triplate. Okay. Now, all the hydroxyl groups, one primary, two secondary hydroxyl groups were protected as tri TBS ether. Okay. Then the primary one can be selectively removed by treating with camphor sulfonic acid. So, now the primary TBS is removed, you have the primary alcohol. As you know, the primary alcohol should be converted into carboxylic acid to make the ester. So, that was done with the excess PDC in DMF. So, once you have the carboxylic acid, already the homoallylic alcohol was already prepared. So, couple this with DCC, you get the precursor for ring closing beta thesis. So, then the ring closing beta thesis with Krebs first generation catalyst gave a mixture of cis and trans alkyl. Okay. He took the mixture and then went ahead, removed the TBS groups okay, to get the precursor for epothelial A. Treatment of these two alkenes, cis and trans, gave a mixture of epothelial A and the other isomer, and the epothelial A is the major isomer. That is how he completed the total synthesis of epothelial A and as you know the key reactions involved in this synthesis are aldol reaction, esterification and ring closing metathesis. Overall he took about 16 longest linear steps and yield was close to 3 percent. The fourth synthesis of epothelial which we discussed today was reported by Vanishevsky's group. Okay. So, here I have written the molecule in a different way. So, do not get confused. Sometimes any complex molecule can be written in so many ways, but people write the structure according to their convenience and then according to their retrosynthetic analysis. Okay. Now, let us see how E has synthesized epothelon A and what are the key reactions E has used. Danishevsky's group used two key reactions which is completely different than the three synthesis which we already discussed. He used a Suzuki coupling okay, 
and macro aldolization. So that is the last step. He used aldol reaction that is a macro aldol reaction as the last step to form the macro lactone. Let us see how he has done. The first retrosynthesis is obviously the epoxide formation that means the double bond is the precursor for epoxylon A. Then what he thought was he can use a Suzuki coupling. So that means uh, this side you have boron and this side you have iodine. Then you can carry out a Suzuki coupling. So that means he divided that molecule into three or four fragments. So now if you look at these two fragments, now if you look at these two fragments, this double bond upon hydroboration will give the precursor for Suzuki coupling. Okay, that can undergo Suzuki coupling with cis iodide, vinyl iodide. The other side, you can see these two can undergo Wittig reaction to get the double bond. Okay, and this molecule, this particular molecule, in principle, can be obtained between this substituted Danishevsky's diene and this aldehyde using hetero diel solder reaction. So overall, if you look at the synthesis of epothelon A reported by Danishevsky, hetero diel solder reaction, Suzuki coupling, and aldol reaction. These are the key reactions he has used to complete the total synthesis of epothelon. Now let us see how he made fragment A. The fragment A, this molecule was prepared from Rochester. We already discussed about Rochester when we talked about total synthesis of discodermalide by Schreiber's group. Okay. Now he did a heterodiel cell reaction between his diene and this aldehyde. So that upon hydrolysis gave this six membered eno. Okay. So in this process, what he has achieved is two new chiral centers. Two new chiral centers were established using this intermolecular heterodiel cell reaction. Okay. Now the third chiral center he could introduce by reduction of this enone with lithium aluminium hydride. Okay. Now using this chiral center, he carried out a cyclopropylation. The hydroxyl group played as a handle to deliver the CH2 group from the same side. Okay? The alpha cyclopropylation was carried out using Jarrett's protocol. Now the cyclopropanes can be opened. How if you use N iodosaxinamide, N iodosaxinamide, then this can break and that will lead to oxonium ion and CH2 ion. The six membered ring will become oxonium ion and at third position you will get CH2 ion. Okay? So that is what you get. That oxonium ion, if you use methanol or any other alcohol, that alcohol will attack and neutralize the positive charge on the oxygen. So now you need dimethyl group. So that means the iodide should be removed. So that was easily removed using tributyl tinhydride. So you got the methyl group. Okay. Now the OME is a lactal protected lactal. Okay. So before you do something, you have to protect this hydroxyl group. So that was protected as triphenyl silyl ether. Okay. That hydroxyl was protected as triphenyl silyl ether. Then the lactal should be opened. So the lactal the lactal methyl ether first it has to be hydrolyzed then it has to be protected but these two can be done in one step if you use propane 1 3 diol in the presence of lewis acid so what happened you form a lactal and the lactal is protected okay so once you have that the free hydroxyl group should be protected again and this is protected as tbs ether by treating with tbs triflate then DDQ, uh, selectively the primary benzyl ether can be cleaved using DDQ to get the primary alcohol which upon oxidation under Swan condition gave the aldehyde. Now Wittig reaction, 
because you need to homologate it so for homologation he carried out enol ether wittig reaction to get the corresponding enol ether which upon hydrolysis gave the corresponding homologated product this upon wittig reaction simple methyl wittig you get the double bond okay now the dithane could be cleaved using bib that derivative of bib and since you use methanol as the solvent the aldehyde which is formed is in situ protected as acetal okay so now the fragment a is ready for fragment b he started with the glycidol okay which is commercially available and protect the primary alcohol as tetrahydropyranyl ether okay then open the epoxy open the epoxy with lithio trimethyl silyl propane okay so that opens and then you you can see this chiral center is formed okay that is already you started with the chiral center and next you protect the hydroxyl as mom ether and remove the tetrahydropyranyl group using ppts methanol okay so once you have that so an oxidation will oxidize the primary alcohol to aldehyde and treatment with methyl magnesium bromide followed by oxidation with tetra n propyl ammonium perruthenate gave the methyl keto okay now this wittig reagent upon treatment with butyl lithium you can generate anion and quench with that ketone you get this double bond okay now the tms group can be removed and iodine can be introduced in one step by treatment with n iodo succinamide and silver nitrate okay and this upon reduction with uh, you can call it as hydroboration and reduction okay so normally if you have triple bond and then do hydroboration oxidation you will get enol but if you treat with acetic acid it will just to reduce the triple bond that is syn addition so you get the corresponding cis vinyl iodide then the mom group was cleaved using benzene thiol and bf thiethrate to get the corresponding alcohol this was protected as acetate by treating with acetic acid and diba so now the fragment b is ready already we saw the synthesis of fragment a and now let us see how b and a can be combined as i said this double bond should be converted into corresponding borane derivative so that he could carry out suzuki coupling reaction so he took this a and treated with 9 bbn okay so then the terminal position you have 9 bbn then suzuki coupling with this vinyl iodide now you could see the cis double bond is met okay so for the last step that is a formation of macrolactone so what is required the protecting group of the aldehyde that is now acetal should that should be hydrolyzed to the aldehyde and the intramolecular aldol reaction of the acetate with the aldehyde will give the corresponding aldol so para toluene sulfonic acid removed the acetal to aldehyde then the key reaction that intramolecular macro aldol reaction was done with potassium hexamethyl disulfide after the aldol now you have to remove the tbs and tps group okay but if you look at this carefully this tbs tps can be selectively removed okay so with hf pyridine in the presence of tbs tps that is triphenyl silyl group can be cleaved then protect the other hydroxyl as tbs ether okay then you oxidize this hydroxyl group if you look at epoethylene this hydroxyl should be keto okay but if you look at the precursors all three are hydroxyl groups or protected hydroxyl group so now you need this as keto so that's why selectively one has to remove the triphenyl silyl group in the presence of tbs and protect the aldol other side aldol 
as TBS ether then oxidize this secondary alcohol to ketone. Now you have to epoxidize and then remove both TBS group ok. So that was done first by treating with HF pyridine for a little longer time. So both hydroxyl groups were removed then followed by treatment with dimethyl dioxidane uh, we could get epothelon in good yield. So overall if you look at this synthesis the key reactions are Suzuki coupling ok. First is Suzuki coupling then the macro aldolization so that is not easy actually macro aldolization uh, is a risk taking reaction for doing such a complex total synthesis but somehow he succeeded in the macro aldolization to complete the total synthesis of epithelon A. Overall it took about 20 steps uh, starting from R glucidol and yield was close to 2.6 percent ok. So now uh, we will move to two more natural products uh, and then complete the syllabus uh, tomorrow and day after tomorrow ok. Mm -hmm.